The deleted scene has become as big a part of movie packages these days as director commentaries, giving fans unprecedented insight to the director's creative process, and when those scenes appear to be great, it makes the reasons behind the decision to cut them even more interesting, particularly if the film ends up being poor. Sometimes timing or tone issues are the problem, and the scenes end up in these special features so they don't go to waste. But sometimes there are scenes that we see fragments of in the marketing that never make it out of the editing suite at all. I'm Ben from What Culture, and here are 10 deleted comic book movie scenes you're not allowed to see. To clarify, we don't have them here. Number 10. Quicksilver Lives. Avengers Age of Ultron. For Avengers Age of Ultron, Joss Whedon's vision was of a war film, and as such, it would have been disingenuous for no characters to die. So he settled on newcomer Quicksilver to bite the bullet. He also knew that Marvel didn't really like to kill people, so he actually filmed an alternate ending that saw Quicksilver survive thanks to a rapid healing factor and join the Avengers in a new costume at the end. It turns out he overestimated Disney and Marvel's commitment to not killing anyone, and the studio were fine. Whedon ultimately decided that he didn't want it in the film, and since the studio agreed with him, the scene was swept under the rug. Number 9. Send in the Clones – Judge Dredd even with a more comic approach that would ruin it, the 1995 adaptation of Judge Dredd was still slapped with an R rating. First it was rated NC-17, then after five rounds of cuts it managed to get down to R, but then Stallone decided it needed to be funny rather than dark and true to the source, so even more cuts were made to accommodate a more family-friendly tone. I suppose you could call it a shit unwarranted alteration for wankers. Hashtag shit unwarranted alteration for wankers. The most famous cut came in the shape of an attack scene starring the clones of Dredd's brother, Rico. In the final film, we do see them wake up, but the film initially had them attacking in slow waves and being shot in a shower of goo by Dredd. Obviously someone thought it was too adult and it didn't make it into the final film, but given how terribly the film was received, don't expect to see it re-released with the scene included now. Number 8. The Web Shooters – Spider-Man Ask any established Spider-Man fan what the one major problem with Sam Raimi's excellent take on Spidey was, and they'll probably mention organic web. Sam Raimi liked the idea, which was introduced by James Cameron, so much that he kept it, but he seemed to realize it might cause issues with fans as he built in a contingency. An early sizzle reel actually reveals that Peter did build non-organic web shooters, possibly in case test audiences rejected the organic web out of hand. It seems they didn't, and the footage was never seen again. Number 7. The Thing's Big Moment – Fantastic Four After rumors of set unrest and creative control being stolen from him, director Josh Trank got some revenge on Fox by tweeting that he'd made a superior cut that would never, ever be seen. There are some hints of what that might include in the pre-release marketing materials, though. The trailers included a shot of The Thing dropping out of a plane into heavy gunfire and smashing up a terrorist camp, which might have actually given the bland film a useful shot in the arm. Who knows? The studio obviously didn't like it for a reason they've never stated, and while the whole Trank issue and the film's critical reception probably makes a reissue particularly unlikely. Number 6. Riddler Gets Brutal – Batman Forever Though Batman Forever's many cuts were included as DVD extra content, one moment that didn't make it onto the list of special features added a more sadistic side to the Riddler well before he's seen completely losing the plot. There's a scene in the film that sees him taking a punching lesson from Two-Face and failing spectacularly, but the original cut had Nigma exacting some revenge on the guard he couldn't knock out by savagely thrashing him with his cane. The barbaric switch was a little out of character to say the least, and you have to imagine that the darker violence simply didn't fit in with Warner Bros' more comedic approach to the character. Number 5. Losing His Sister – Doctor Strange Ahead of Doctor Strange's release, director Scott Derrickson revealed a scene had been cut that would have added more to Strange's backstory and showed his sister dying as a child, as was the case in the comics. Though Derrickson said at the time he hoped it would be released as a special feature, it turns out that he and Marvel apparently didn't agree on its importance. Derrickson himself explains that the scene simply didn't fit in the movie, regardless of how well it worked as a standalone or how well Lulu Wilson was as Strange's sister. But we'll never get to see it anyway. Number 4. Lau Burning – The Dark Knight 
The Dark Knight is a far less violent film than it immediately appears, but Christopher Nolan did almost include one scene that would have never made it past the censors. When the Joker burns the mob cash, he puts their accountant Lau on the top and it's suggested he's burned alive. But originally, Nolan included a graphic image of him sitting ablaze atop the pile. The scene obviously didn't fit with Warner Bros and Nolan's desire for a PG-13 rating, so it hit the floor of the editing room, never to be seen again. And if you're wondering why it wasn't ever released as a special feature, it comes back to Nolan's belief that cutscenes don't deserve to be seen. Number 3. The Best Scene – Avengers Age of Ultron According to rumors, there was originally a scene in the script of Age of Ultron that they called the fist-pumping moment of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And considering that came in the same film as Hulk vs. Hulkbuster, it must have been some scene. It's a mystery what the scene was, but Joss Whedon confirmed it was something to do with the Hulk's final moments and that it was very good, but it ultimately didn't organically fit into the end of the film, despite how hard he tried to force it. Frustratingly, we'll probably never know what that scene is, but we do at least know that it was cut for storytelling reasons and due to something that Whedon admitted himself, it could appear in another Marvel film at some point. Number 2. Young Michael Caine Kingsman – The Secret Service In an earlier cut of Kingsman, Michael Caine's duplicitous Arthur was seen in a flashback sequence set in 1975, turning the clock back to Caine's own spy heyday. Quite what the scene even entailed remains unrevealed, but still images were released showing off the de-aging effects in work as Arthur threatened a target with a gun. Mark Miller has subsequently revealed that the scene compromised the film's pace, which is a major shame because Kane looked incredible. Why it still hasn't been revealed remains to be seen, but it may simply be that they never ended up finishing the effects process. Number 1. The Bat Trance – Batman in Batman, Michael Keaton channeled his otherworldly oddness and natural awkwardness into creating a beautiful portrait of Wayne, but one of his bolder choices never made it into the film. In addition to using another voice to distinguish Wayne and Batman, I'm Batman. He pitched the idea of Bruce going into a bat trance, a state designed to help him transition into Batman and to help signal further difference. It was classed as a good enough idea to film, but it has so far not emerged in any format. Apparently Tim Burton felt, quite rightly, that the scene was redundant, perhaps because Keaton's twin performances were already distinct enough from each other. And that's our list. Make sure you subscribe to the What Culture YouTube channel for more lists like this, and don't forget to visit whatculture.com for daily news and articles. I'm Ben from What Culture, and thanks for watching.